it's not frequent at all, and it gets a little annoying, especially when I'm, you know, arriving here, and a bus is just leaving, it's like, oh man, I have to wait another 15, 30 minutes for the next one. They do get you where you need to go, but not necessarily on time. It took me to a di on a different route. I guess it didn't change its sign yet, and it like took me somewhere, like, it took me to the Island Communications, and I was supposed to be in Flipsy. Um, so it never, it just came back through the Stanford Circle instead of going to Ponce. And so I had to end up getting off here and walking all the way over to Flipsy. And I was like 20 minutes late for our midterm. Back on Fridays, um, it doesn't seem to be very busy at all. Um, like in the morning time, like very early morning. There are a lot of kids that have night classes that need, you know, the shuttles to be more regular. Usually at night time or during the weekends. I don't know if delays, I'm, I'm not too sure about the schedules. They're not easily available, but um, I know that during the day they're pretty, um, they come often, but just after like a certain time, maybe like after dark, like at 7.30, they usually take longer than that. I know that I wouldn't go on my laptop or on a computer to see where the shuttles are at. It's pretty, I think it would be more convenient to have something like that on the actual stop.